Hey there, this is just a quick video to show you how to make one of these solar air heaters, the type that just uses a channel system to channel the air from the bottom to the top. Better get that out of there. All right, this thing's pushing 120 already. I gotta get that thermometer out of there. All right, now just line it up, flip it over, and we'll screw on the back. Okay, that's the corners. I'll just do the rest. Then I'm just going to do three on each board. Three here, three here, and around. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and cut down the internal wooden dowels. And that'll allow the air to channel back and forth up through the collector. Okay, then just put them in about like that. Alright, now I'm going to drill the dowels and secure them onto the back. I'm going to do three holes in each one, so 15 total. By the way, I started with a 1 16th inch drill bit and moved up to a 3 32nd -er. Again, hold it from the back. Four more to go. All 
All right, now I'm just going to go ahead and add the support for the glass. That's these pieces. Use a nail about that size. That should work good. Okay, that went in real good. Now just do that all the way around. Alright, now I'm going to finish the wood frame with these 3 8 inch dowels. We'll cut them down, match them, put them right on top. a 1 16th inch drill bit, probably four places, here, 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 and here. Alright, now I'm going to go ahead and measure and drill the hole for the fan. So we'll center this. By the way, notice how thin the fan is that I'm using. I went with a slim fan so we have plenty of room between the glass and the blades. Okay, now let's do the other side. Okay, now I'm just going to go ahead and glue a piece of screen down over the inlet hole. Now just drop the fan in, put the wires through, line it up. Alright, now the vent tube. Alright, push the hose on there, drop the clamp down, tighten it up and we'll throw it on the back. That's actually on there really good, even without the clamp, but just to be sure, let's put that on there. Alright, just drop it on and tighten it up.
Better get that out of there. I don't know if you can see that. This thing's working awesome. It doesn't even have the metal in it, and look at those temps. All right, for even higher temps, I'm gonna go ahead and try some of this aluminum flashing in there. It's just rolled aluminum. I'll cut it down into strips and fit it inside the channels in there. And that should increase the temps maybe another 10 or 20 degrees, I'm hoping. But that'll be a future vid.